assignment operator assign the value of the right hand side to the value of the left hand side operand if the values of a is 5 and values of b is 5 so 5 equals 5 the result will be true in and operation both the operation must be true so to get the result as true so any statement in python language will be executed based on this order of reference or precedence of operators dear students welcome to computer science classes i am ravi kumar kr lecturer in computer science vidyashram pu college temple of excellence mysore students let us start our discussion with respect to python in language and in this session we are going to talk about input and output statements debugging errors and different types of operators now let us continue with relational operators in the previous session we have discussed about the arithmetic operator now in this session we will talk about other different types of operators of python language now let us see what are relational operators so here relational operators compares the values of one operands on its either side of and determines the relationship among them so what is relational operators see this is the operator is going to compare is going to compare the values of the two operands on either side of the operator say for example if i write here a is a variable and if you look into that first operator that is a equals to double equals to so a double equals b so this is the equals this equals it stand for equals to so this relation operator is going to compare the values of these two variables and with respect to this operator if the values are true then it results in the values either true or false any relational operators is going to compare two values or two operands on either side of the operator and always results either in true true if the values are equal and it results into false if the values are unequal so this is the first of this equals to is one of the relational operator so what are relational operators they are going to compare the two values on either side of the operator and results either in true or false in this example if the values of the two operands are same it results in true or otherwise it results in false for example if the values of a is 5 and values of b is 5 so 5 equals 5 the result will be true in another example if the values of a is 5 and values of b is 4 then it results in false so this is how the relation operator works with respect to programming language now next one is not equals to a not equals to b how do we use it we can say a not equals to b this is greater than greater than and is less than and is greater than or equals to and less than or equals to for example if i say one example a a less than b how do we use it a less than b if the value of a less than b it results in true if value of b is not less than b it results in the value as or result as false so relation operators always results in either true or false based on the operator used in a programming statement or python statement so this is going to compare less than and this is greater than or equals and less than or equals these are different relation operators of python next one is assignment operator another operator is assignment operator here assignment operator assigns or changes the value of the variable on its left so here generally equals is assignment operator 
सो वॉट इज इक्वल्स सपोज इफ आई से ये इक्वल्स टेन इन दिस एग्जाम्पल ये इज ए वेरिएबल कॉन्स्टेंट एंड वैल्यू ऑफ ये इज टेन हियर सो वे आर यूजिंग इक्वल सिंबल सो दिस इज ऑपरेटर सो असाइनमेंट ऑपरेटर असाइन द वैल्यू ऑफ द राइट हैंड साइड टू द वैल्यू ऑफ द लेफ्ट हैंड साइड ऑपर एंड दिस इज एन ऑपरेटर सो असाइन द वैल्यू फ्रॉम राइट साइड ऑपर एंड टू द लेफ्ट साइड ऑपर एंड दिस इज द डेफिनेशन ऑफ असाइनमेंट ऑपरेटर इक्वल से इज असाइनमेंट ऑपरेटर नाउ अनदर मेथड ऑफ यूजिंग और अनदर ऑपरेटर अगेन हियर प्लस इक्वल्स सो दिस इज हाउ डू वी यूज इट ये प्लस इक्वल्स टू मीन्स हियर इट इज अनदर मेथड ऑफ राइटिंग ये इक्वल्स टू ए प्लस टू सो दिस इज द शॉर्ट हैंड नोटेशन और शॉर्ट हैंड फॉर्म ऑफ राइटिंग लाइक दिस सो इंस्टेड ऑफ राइटिंग ये इक्वल टू ए प्लस टू इट कैन ऑल्सो बी रिटर्न एज ए प्लस इक्वल्स टू सो दिस इज बाई यूजिंग असाइनमेंट ऑपरेटर so here a plus 2 suppose if value of a is 10 it is a equal to a plus 2 nothing but 10 plus 2 that is equals 12 so this is normally we use in uh, mathematical statement or in python statement it is also as good as using this by using assignment operator similarly minus equals means it is a minus equals 2 is equal to a equal to a minus 2 and here it is star equals and slash equals so this is another method of using assignment operator that is equals along with other operators so this is assignment operators next one that is logical operators so what are logical operators see so these operators and or not these are the logical operators are to be written in lower case only here which are the logical operators and or not or the logical operators and we have to use exactly as it is and we are using it by writing in lower case or small letters only and here the logical operator evaluates either true or false based on the logical operands on either side so here again these are the operator it results in or it evaluate either true or false based on the logical operands on either side again this is an operator and either side of it are operand for example we say a and here i can write a n d and b so if we write like this here a and b are operands and this is operator that is logical operator it results either true or false these are nothing but the logical operators and or not now let us see the meaning of all these things definition so what is and operator it is called as logical and operator so what is the definition of it if both the operands are true condition becomes true so and operator it results or it gives the answer either true or false it results in true if both the operands are true for example here num1 equals to 10 num2 equal to minus 20 so boolean num1 and num2 here b o o n is a boolean so here and is the operator if both of them are numbers it results in true or if both of them has a value it results in true so that is how and logical and operator works it is and operator it is referred as logical and similarly we have or operator it is logical or operator definition is if any of the two operands are true the condition becomes true in and operation both the operators must be true so to get the result as true suppose in or operator if any one of the operands are true the operator results in true for example here num1 or num3 true here both of them has the value numbers now similar next one is not operator this is logical not used to reverse the logical state of its operand is used to 
रिवर्स द लॉजिकल स्टेट फॉर एग्जाम्पल नम वन इक्वल टू टेन बुलियन नम वन इट इज ट्रू बट यू से नॉट नम वन यू से हाउ वी यूज इट हेयर नॉट इज एन ऑपरेटर नॉट नम वन से बुलियन नम वन नेक्स्ट रिजल्ट इज फॉल्स सो the not operator is used to reverse the logical state of its operand if the logical state is true it reverses into false if the logical state is false it reverses to true that is the definition of not operators these are logical operators in the next slide we will see precedence of operators precedence of operator so what is the meaning of this See here. Now we have learned different types of operator like arithmetic operator, logical operator, relational operator. Suppose in a Python statement, if there are more than one operators in the same statement, then we have to follow the concept of or uh, procedure of precedence of operator. See, precedence stands for preference of operator. If there are more than one operator in a Python statement, so we have to consider, we have to follow. this precedence of operator what is it exactly it is evaluation of expression is based on precedence of operator so as we have seen number of operators the python language the composer itself given preference to few of the operator it means that it is going to execute few operators in the form of hierarchy that is nothing but precedence of operators now when expression contain different kinds of operators means different types of operator are more than one operators in a python statement precedent determines which operator should be applied first now higher precedence operator is evaluated before the lower precedence of operator so this is the definition of precedence of operator now let us take an example here now For example, here twenty plus thirty within the bracket and star forty. If you observe this here in the example, twenty plus thirty into forty. Now, how do we solve it? Here in the step one, we are going to simplify twenty plus thirty star fifty. So here, we are going to simplify twenty plus thirty first because we are giving preference to the statements or expressions within the bracket first so the values in the expression in the brackets will be simplified first accordingly 20 plus 30 equal to 50 next one is this star star this star is as it is and 40 so 15 into 40 2000 this is the next step so this is the meaning of precedence of operator in this example the first preference will be given to the expressions or statements inside the bracket next will be the star for multiplication so this is precedence of operators in python programming now look at the table here if you look at the table we can see different types of operators in python language and this is the order of preference the first preference will be given for exponentiation meaning of exponential is raised to the power x5 x x to the power of 6 x to the power of cube so on that is the first preference next preference for all these and this is a third preference for all these see these are all the hierarchy maintained in the python language so the any statement in python language will be executed based on this order of preference or precedence of operators in the next slide we will move on next concept that is input and output statements now we know we have learned what is input input means the data we have to enter in order to solve a problem that is data and what is output here once the data is input the computer processes the data that is called processing and it gives us or it generate the result that is output here but with respect to programming concept in python language how to use input statement that is a statement to accept data from the users or from the input device and similarly the output statement are used to display the result or print the result through output devices so these are nothing but input and output statements in python language so in python language we have input this is a function here is called input function for taking the users input 
So suppose the user has to enter values or the user has to enter input to the computer then we are using input function. It prompts the user to enter the data. If you use input function it is going to prompt nothing but it is going to ask for the user to enter the data and it accepts the all user input as string. I mean is any input given through the keyboard or through the input devices it will goes to the programming in the form of string. Now the user may enter a number or a string but the input function treats them as a string only. Any value enter maybe it, it may be a strings or a number whatever it is all the input goes to the statement in the form of string. Now the syntax of input statement is how to use input statement. So we have say input, input is a reserved word and in the bracket we have to prompt, this is called prompt. So this is how to use input statement in Python language. For example f name is the identifier, f name equals input, see this is what the syntax of input, the prompt, here we are writing this in double quotation mark. So whatever you write inside double quotation mark it is going to print exactly as it is on the monitor. So input enter your name. So when you press enter key you will get a message or you say enter your first name. Whatever you have typed here or given in the double quote it comes exactly as it is and because of input statement it waits for the input from the user. So this is the place we have to enter the or you type the input value for your programming statements. So as soon as you print this it accepts the value. Next one is another prompt age equals input enter your age and immediately it prompts with enter your age. Suppose if you write 19, suppose if you enter 19 as your age through keyboard then if you look into that type age means the data type of this will be string. string or it is in the form of string not as number. So this is the meaning of input statement or this is how to use input statement in programming. Now let us see another function that is print function. The python uses print function to output the data to the standard output device that is the monitor. So input is a function to enter the value or accept the value from the user and here print function it is the function used to display the result through output devices. Now it evaluates the expression before displaying it on the screen and the print out is the print function outputs a complete line and then move to the next line for subsequent output. If there are more than one print statement it executes the print statement one by one. Now the syntax says for print is print and here the value this is the syntax of this. Now let us see some of the example here. So print hello this is print is a statement here open the bracket within double quote is hello and close the double quote with the bracket. So the result will be hello. So this is how to use print statement. Suppose if I write print here 10 start 2.5 the result is multiplication means you going to evaluate this print the result as output here. So print is an output statement. Similarly print in the double quote i here is a plus is an operator love it is the double quote plus my country. So the output will be I love my country this acts as an operator. This is the print statement. Next one is print I am 16 years old. See I am getting the output as I am 16 years old. So this is how to make use of output statement that is print function. In the next slide we will see another concept is type conversion. What is type conversion? See as and when we required we can change the data type of variable in python from one type to another type. So what is type conversion? What is the meaning of type here? The meaning here is called data type. So suppose if you want to change the values from one data type to another data type. As we have seen in the, in the beginning in the last session suppose I want to change the values from in data type means whole number to 
decimal number that is a flow data type so here the meaning of type conversion is conversion from one data type to another data type or the values of one data type can be converted into value of another data type that is type conversion so here it can happen there are two methods there are two ways or there are two methods one is explicitly that is forced when the programmer specify for the interpreter to convert a data type to another type means explicitly means nothing but the user forces the conversion or that is the meaning of explicit conversion and second method is implicit or implicitly conversion means the interpreter understands such a need by itself and does the type conversion automatically some conversion takes place through the interpreter by itself without the intervention of the user so here explicitly means the user he forces the conversion from one data type to another data type but implicitly means the compiler itself converts from one to another data type so these two are the type conversion methods now let us see what is explicit conversion so here it is called as type costing another name of explicit conversion is type costing means the here the programmer forces the conversion now look at the example here this is syntax is new data type plus expression so this is the expression new data type means the for which the data to be converted that is the meaning of new data type for example converting a floating value of x into an integer value this is an example now now the floating value here 20.67 is a decimal number it is in programming it is a float data type now i want to convert this into integer value so how do we use it here so int and comma x look at the syntax here new data type is in means i have to convert the given value of float data type into in that is a new data type into x is the value of this so when you give the statement like this this is called type costing or explicit type conversion so here the float data type the float values are decimal numbers are converted into integer type so it is going to discard this 0.67 so output will be 20 only is going to discard or is going to eliminate 0.67 from this float data type number so this is explicit type conversion next one is implicit type conversion as we have seen the definition the compiler itself convert from one to another data type and here without the user intervention so look at the example here in this example num1 equal to 10 num2 equal to 20 num1 is an integer value and this is float type of value now if we say num1 plus num2 means we are going to add in data type plus float data type so look at the result now so when you give the statement print sum 1 print sum 1 is going to add these to print the result so if you say print sum 1 output is 20.010 so result will be 30.0 the result is in the form of float now if you use the statement print type sum 1 means is going to print the data type of sum 1 so it is float so here if we add integer plus float data type the result will be in float data type so this is the conversion by the compiler itself automatically this is implicit type conversion we move on to next concept that is what debugging so what is debugging in respect to programming concept here the process of identifying and removing mistakes is known as debugging or errors this is called debugging suppose we know what is the programming now so when you write a program if at all any errors are there they are called as bugs or mistakes so the process of removing those mistakes and do some corrections that is the process of debugging that is the definition of debugging here if you talk about errors there are three types of errors here one is syntax error logical errors and run time error these are the three types of errors in programming concepts now let us see the definition of syntax errors 
what are syntax error so the syntax error is like other programming languages python has its own rules that determine syntax so as every language has its own syntax or the rules similarly even python also has the same syntax so here by writing a program we have to follow the syntax of the python language so suppose if at all if there is a mistake in programming statement nothing but the errors so here the interpret the statement only if it systematically as per the rules correct I mean it is going to execute or it is going to interpret the statement which are error free or the statements which are written by following the rules of a python language so if any syntax error is present the interpreter shows the error message and stop execution of the program or the statements so here what is the syntax error if at all any a grammatical mistakes in python statements it is referred as syntax error or if any statements which are not followed the syntax of the python language so they are referred as syntax error once the syntax error is identified the interpreter it shows error message and it stop execution of the program it will not continue the execution of further statements so this is syntax error next one is logical errors so what are logical errors it is a type of bug or errors in a program that causes it to behave incorrectly so here the what is the meaning of this it produces undesired output without abrupt termination of the program so here if there are any types of logical errors the program is not going to stop or terminate at that point but is going to display undesired output or wrong output in the program so any errors of such types are called as logical errors we move on to next one that is called runtime errors so here a runtime error causes abnormal termination of the program while it is executing so here while running the program or while the interpreter executing the statements in python is going to terminate the program abnormally so runtime error is when statement is correct syntactically but interpreter cannot execute it so what is runtime error so even though there are no syntax error or any logical error in your program but there are sometimes interpreter cannot execute it so that is the meaning of runtime error so runtime errors do not appear until after the program starts running or execution so while executing the interpreter display the messages for syntax errors or maybe for logical errors but it cannot display any error message until it is going to start executing the program so that is the meaning of the runtime error or errors at the time of program execution so this is runtime error students see so far we have discussed about few concept of python language now let us continue our discussion in my next class thank you so much